My grandfather died with Alzheimer's. My mother-in-law has Alzheimer's. My father and mother-in-law have had strokes. I'm looking for answers. And I just may have found one seeing one of my patients rapid recovery from a recent stroke. At this writing, the best immediate treatment for preventing damage from clotting strokes is giving tissue plasminogen activating factor, an enzyme that helps get clots dissolved quickly. You've only got three hours, though, to benefit from this and something you get at the hospital. So what can we do after that window or after dementia sets in or before the stroke or dementia? Well, today I'll give you one approach, the therapeutic laser and some of what we have seen in the research and how it can be applied to your benefit. Hi, this is Dr. Hobbs, restoring hope and health for lifetime family wellness. So the research evidence is coming in fast, but the big studies are in progress presently for Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, autism, and other, other brain disorders. They're all really effective, long-lasting, uh, long-term recovery approaches require addressing multiple aspects at once. We call this the multimodal approach. Dr. Bredesen has led the way. We like to uh, apply much of his protocol in our office. To learn more, please get his book, um, explaining the challenging yet effective program. You can see that in the reference below. So today I'll be discussing just the laser, which is a needed addition to his program. So here's some of what we've seen in the research and how it can be applied for your benefit. In 2021, a study was published in the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease on 14 people using low-level light, low light therapy on the arteries of their neck. It led to improvements in cerebral or brain blood flow in the prefrontal cortex where planning, attention, and control of behavior occur. Also, the anterior cingulate cortex where much emotion, impulse control, blood pressure, and heart rate is regulated, and the occipital cortex where vision is processed. Along with blood flow, improvements were found in overall cognitive function, memory, and frontal executive function. So that's encouraging and amazing. So the impact the laser photons have on the blood, on the way to the brain, carried the benefit into the brain and resulted in real benefits that can be measured. So as one might expect, some of the most detailed research has been done with non-human animals. So low-level laser treatment on rats and rabbits with strokes led to an improved recovery from stroke, including more nerve regrowth, especially if treated within 24 hours. In human studies, treatment within 24 hours resulted in 20% more people having successful recovery. In another mouse study, they found that providing even a single laser treatment four hours after stroke made a big difference. Measurements over the first two days appeared to show no benefit, but at five days post-stroke, the difference became rather significant. There was an improvement of a 27% lower neurological severity score in the laser treatment group when evaluated five days and continuing on the measurements through four weeks post-stroke. I'm sure it lasted beyond that, but that's as far as they measured. Then they biopsied the brain after treatment and found that the laser treatment group also showed a smaller loss of brain tissue and the control group. So what's our takeaway? Well, it appears that every hospital should have a laser. I would recommend laser treatment as quickly as possible after a stroke. But let me be clear, if you have a stroke, do not come to our office first. Get to the hospital first, immediately. So you never know when you'll have a stroke or brain injury, unless it's a surgery, and you can't get laser treatment within four hours, usually, but research on mice shows that laser applied for a couple days before a stroke resulted in smaller brain lesion and more complete recovery of motor and sensory function 24 hours after the stroke. Now this is supported by my own experience in which my dementia patient had a very large stroke and was back to their normal within days. We were doing laser regularly for the dementia and we were finding some success. Had we not been providing the healing laser light energy in her brain, she likely would have not recovered so well. So what's the takeaway for you? Laser is good for your brain. Yes, I apply laser to my brain regularly and a number of my patients do as well. The greater risk for stroke, dementia, or head injury is more likely, the greater, the greater risk you have for those, the more likely you are to benefit in a big way. Some of my patients 
are looking for a boost, so they get treatment two times a week for four to ten weeks. Others are looking for recovery from a trauma or stroke, so we'll see them two to three times a week until, the, um, until they reach a stable level, and then go to once a week or once a month, depending on the situation. In other posts, I'll share more about dementia, Alzheimer's, as, and concussion and mild TBI, or mild traumatic brain injury, treatment with laser. So if you'd like more information on laser, text the keyword laser, L-A-S-E-R, to our office phone number and receive a month long or uh, several videos sent to your device um, at no charge. All right, hope you have a great day and apply this information. And if you're not a patient, and you'd like to make a visit, please give us a call. We'd love to help you out. Uh, we'll check you out and see what can be done for you. All right, have a wonderful day, and God bless you.